Hi class, welcome to week four. This week you're going to be looking at strategic plan preparation and figuring out how you can actually start to plan for the strategic initiative that you talked about in your paper that was due on Sunday. Um, I'm going to be going over those papers this week and giving you some feedback about your initiative. Maybe it might need to be a little broader. Maybe it might need to be a little um, taken back a bit. Um, the idea here is that we wanted to do something that was going to require a bit of time to get done and not something that could be easily fixed. Um, you've been reading Shine, which is one of my favorite authors. Um, Shine is really great in talking about how to think about organizational culture strategically and how to use that culture to then make change and really um, one of the things they tell us or we know from the counseling literature which is what my master's is in is that really culture if you don't change the culture you're not going to change the individual um, oftentimes therapy fails because the person in therapy can't affect the culture around them and therefore they keep going back into the same patterns and organizations are the same way if you don't change the culture then the organization falls back into the same patterns as it did before so this week you're going to be doing a um, new kind of SWOT which is very interesting to me because I feel like we've done SWOTs before people have done them over and over again and, and they're very informative um, because they give you a bigger picture of what are the strengths and the weaknesses and opportunities and threats. But this particular SWOT that you're going to do, and keep in mind it's Worksheet 2.1, not Figure 2.1, so don't make that mistake. It's a worksheet. Um, it lists a whole bunch of different parts of the organization, payroll, HR, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to pick a few of those, and you're going to figure out the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats for each level. Now this is a much more refined way to do a SWOT analysis because it's very detailed. So perhaps payroll has different strengths than HR does, or perhaps your marketing department may have different strengths and weaknesses than um, the, um, the research and development department, or um, maybe your capital investments might be better um, suited and better situated than something else in the company. So instead of having to kind of create these four blocks and come up with these overviews, you're actually individually going to do a SWOT for each item in the list. And there's a table for it. So I suggest get it, downloading the table, picking the, um, I think it's 10 areas you want to look at, and then do a SWOT analysis for each area. And that means what is the strength of that area? What is the weakness? What is the opportunity and threat for each one of those 10 items? Then you're going to post that to the discussion board and then add to it a discussion basically summarizing what you found and how maybe you think you could leverage that and fix that and that kind of thing. I'm also posting a post either today or tomorrow that I'd like you to respond to on Wednesday. This is going to help you to think a little deeper, um, maybe consider some of the things we've already gone over, the strengths and weaknesses that you've come across. Um, it's a chance for me to kind of post something and then we'll have a conversation about it. More like a Facebook post where somebody posts a comment and then everyone responds to it. It's that kind of social media kind of side of things. Okay, well that is all I wanted to um, give you a video about. I like to do videos throughout the class, so this is just one that I needed to update because I hadn't updated it in a couple years. So hopefully this will be helpful. If you have any questions, again, I'm always available. Let me know.